Hi guys, Ronnie here. First of all, I want to say this is not another one of those regular blanket ladder videos. You know, the ones that get around to pulling out the trigonometry and all the math computations to figure out all those angles you're going to need. No, no, no. Maybe you've been building blanket ladders or you want to get into it. So whether you want to build a ladder that's say 15 inches tall, like I have on my kitchen counter for the hand towel or all the way up to a hundred foot tall one. I tell you what, by the end of this video, Whatever size ladder you want to build, you're going to be able to figure out the exact, and I mean exact, angles you're going to need for that ladder and all from the comfort of your own easy chair. That's right. You don't have to lift a finger. Just a thumb. Intrigued? Well, let's get going. I'll show you how it's done. Part of the process of building wall ladders is figuring out what angle to cut the top of the side rails so the ladder leans flush against the wall and doing the same with the bottom rails so they fit flush with the floor. If you can use a tape measure, it takes just one thumb to figure the angles. So first, here are the measurements you need to gather. The height up the wall the ladder will reach. If you're gonna cut off the points at the top like I did on mine, you need to account for that. Next is how far from the wall the bottom of the ladder will sit. Don't forget to account for the thickness of any baseboard you might have. And finally, the width of the side rails used. I use 2x4s, so the thickness of mine are 3.5 inches. Alright, I've been warming up. Now let me demonstrate with my thumb and my measurements how I figured out the exact angles for my ladder. Let's go. Step 1. You need to go pick up my app, Miter Angle Calculator from the App Store or Google Play. Both links are in the description. Step 2. Open the app and click on Choose Method. Step three, scroll all the way down and select the bottom image and click set. You'll be sent back to the home page where you'll see the selection at the top titled top sides, bottom edge. Step four, select your units of measurements, imperial or metric. Yes, I included metric for my friends around the rest of the world. I'm gonna go with imperial. Step five, click on and enter the opening height measurements, which in this case is how far up the wall you wanna go. Step six, click and enter the opening width measurements. This is how far from the wall you want the ladder to be. You may be wondering why the fields are listed as opening height and opening width. I built this app for calculating angles for X bracing on table ends, gates, and doors. In fact, I'll put a card above to a video I have that's the ultimate guide to building X bracing. But one thing I noticed recently is how this particular orientation can actually be used for calculating angles for ladders as well. If we go back to the orientation option we selected, Imagine a wall on the right side and the floor on the bottom. You can see how this could represent a ladder leaning against the wall and the two angles needed to make that ladder sit flush. Okay, let's move on. Step seven, enter the width of the board used for side rails. As mentioned earlier, mine's three and a half inches. Step eight, click calculate. You're now taken to the results page with all of the angles. For the latter, we are focusing in on these angles shown on the visual representation image. The top angle of what's represented by the wall as the red border is 75.9 degrees. The bottom angle on the floor is 14.1 degrees. When I set my digital angle finder to those degrees, you can see how it lines up with my actual ladder. 75.9 degrees on top, 14.1 degrees on the bottom. Now, some of you may be wondering, how in the heck are you going to get 75.9 degrees? Your miter saw only goes up to 45 or 50. Well, let me show you a little bonus tip on how you can achieve those higher degree angles. All right, here I set my digital angle gauge to 75.9 degrees. I marked off my board. As you can see, this is the XN. This is the part that's going to go against the wall. I started out with a notch. So, again, if you're going to go higher, you need to figure in that additional amount. So let me take it to the saw and show you how you make that cut. All right, you want to get you a two by four or a couple of them like I did here. Cut it at a 45 degree angle. Put it up against your fence close to the cut line here with your miter saw at zero. Now let me show you what the degrees are going to be. All right, with your 45 angled cut two by fours in place, we are at zero. Zero now becomes 45 degrees. We want 75.9. So we need to go 30.9 degrees. Let's go over to 25, 30, and just try to get the best right before 31. Lock it in place. Now let's look at our angle. Okay, so with the saw set at 30.9, which is actually 75.9, I 
Remember, zero is now 45, and we work our way up, needed 30.9. I got the two by fours clamped down, 45 degree angle, and the saw runs right along the line. And that's how easy it is to get those steep miter cuts. Hey, I bet when you woke up this morning, you had no idea how much you could actually get done by sitting in an easy chair, maybe sipping a little sweet tea with just a phone and a thumb. It's amazing. I'll catch you next time.